Hey everyone, this is Shannon. Welcome back to Grow Roots. Today I am at Callaway's Nursery in Little Elm. I just dropped my daughter off at a birthday party, so I have a couple of hours in the town of Little Elm slash Frisco, Texas, uh, so I can go do some plant shopping unexpectedly. Yay! Don't you love days like that? So I'm going to see what Callaway's has. And I also understand that proven winners are 20% off. I think it was April 12th through maybe April 16th. So it started yesterday. Um, this location of Callaway's is not my normal location. So I don't know how many proven winners varieties they actually will have and if they'll have anything left after being 20% off yesterday. And I think this is proven winners annuals only, but let's go see and find out. Okay, so first starting off, I'm remembering that this location in Little Elm, Texas is just so much nicer than the Denton location is. It's larger, it's nicer. The parking lot was very, very full. Um, so I know that it's probably pretty crowded, but just um, really beautifully done plant nursery. So walking up here, sorry about all the shopping carts, but I did want to capture all of the trellises that are up here at the front entrance and these plant stands. Really, really pretty. I'm always drawn to trellises. I'm always looking for new trellises, but usually on Facebook Marketplace, which I was drawn to this plant stand because I've been seeing them on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> so <laughs> nice to know they got them here. They just have so much. Look at that beautiful site right there. Oh, such beautiful displays at the entrances. There's some canna lilies. Some of their containers, they do containers beautifully. They have their tropical hibiscus looking beautiful. And there is all of their roses. And here we are in the front of the garden center. And there is the sea of annuals. Isn't that beautiful? Such a pretty sight for someone like me. <laughs> But I am looking for proven winners, so that's where I'm headed, looking around, because they are the ones that are 20% off today, and there they are. So right off the bat, I see this lamium. It is pink Chablis lamium, super pretty pink color, and I've had my eye on this plant for some time, so now might be the right opportunity since it's 20% off. coming around all pink Chablis up there but there is diamond snow euphorbia and there's the sign so 20% off all proven winners is what the sign says here is Super Tourneur Royal Velvet, and then this lighter purple one is so pretty. It's Super Tourneur Blue Skies. So pretty. I love it. And then that one is Mini Vista Pink Star. Looks a little bit like the Lovey Dovey, but I think the flowers are smaller. And here's one I've never seen, Proven Winners Gold Dust. It's a type of, I think it's Macardia, something like that. But I copied down some information for you um, from the Proven Winners website. Just a really cute little uh, plant with yellow flowers. Perfect for containers, I think. They did have some coleus. Uh, Royal Cherry Brandy is one of them. Then there's the uh, uh, Sensatia Cranberry Red. It's in Namesia, so it is colder weather. I don't think it'll withstand the heat of our summers, but that color is stunning. It's beautiful. 
Look at all the buds on that plant. And then they also had this super tunia. Is it really red? Let's see. Yes, super tunia really red. Really, really beautiful. And another coleus, Color Blaze Lime Time. Some more of that coleus, the Royale Cherry. Over here is more Nemesia, Sensatia Lemon. And another type of coleus. This one's really cute. It's, what is it? Uh, let's see. Mini Me Watermelon. And they have their famous lemon coral sedum. And here is a super bina, super bina cherry burst in the, the eco grande container. This is proven winners, proven selections, Dahlia. Look at that beautiful Dahlia. Oh my goodness. So that was in a larger container. On the website, Callaway's website said that their proven winners quartz were the ones that were 20% off. Here in store, it said all proven winners 20% off. So I don't know. There's a splish splash coleus right there. Again, in one of the larger containers. There is Snow Princess, Lobularia, and Alyssum, and their Goldilocks, Creeping Jenny. Super cute. And those were so full. And here are some Caladiums, Lemon Blush, Heart to Heart Lemon Blush. Super cute color. And oh my goodness, look at these super bells. They're a double petal, a double ruby is what they're called. So pretty. I love those double petals. And there's more of the uh, super bina cherry burst. Those looked a little better than the other ones. But look at that. That's so pretty. These caught my eye. These were not proven winners, but look at these begonias. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so here's a uh, Super Tunia Sil Vista Silverberry in the larger containers. Absolutely stunning. I love this this color. And they only had a few left. These are their Super Tunia Vista Jazzberries. I think there were only like three or four left when I was there. Here was a new plant to me, Catalina Grapealicious. It's a wishbone flower or Terenia. And here's the info from the Proven Winners website. Really cool plant, very pretty. It's supposed to be heat tolerant. So I wonder how that would do in North Texas. Looking at this plant, it is the Truffula Pink Gomfrina. I love this one. And then here are some super bells, again in the larger containers. The Super Bells um, Double Vintage Coral. I believe those larger containers were $16.99. And again, debatable whether those are 20% off too or not. Those were striking. Those were not proven winners. They look like the Super Junior Persimmon though. And then there was another type of Terenia. That one is yellow with purple centers. Catalina Gold Grape. Really, really cute plant. Oh, and look. That is the Super Bell's Lemon Slice. I don't think I've ever seen that one in store before. So that was cool to see. There's some more Silverberry. And they have the Violet Night Sweet Alyssum. So pretty. And then that was another Super Bell's in a larger container. 
I don't recall what type of Super Bowls those were. Did it? Oh, there, there. Okay. Uh, Super Bowls Rising Star. Really, really pretty. Striking color. Okay, so we're done with Proven Winners. Now, I went over to the uh, other Petunias, and these are crazy Tunias. Look at that color. It's Black Mamba. The beautiful black color. And then they had uh, multi-packs of wave petunias. So they had white and that purple was striking. Like it, it almost looks blue if you look at it at the right angle in the right light. They had whites and uh, pinks, like a bubblegum pink and that purplish bluish color. And then they had some multi-packs with whites and like fuchsia colors, reds, purples dark purples and then some of them had um those little stripes or stars as well um those were six packs and they were sixteen dollars and 99 cents for the six packs i want to try wave petunias but that's still a little bit pricey for me not really knowing how they'll perform so maybe next year we'll see so here's their all-star annuals. I guess Callaway's has a brand called all-star and little four inch containers of annuals and they're $3 and 99 cents. So they had a lot. They had those sun patients. They had regular impatience. They had begonias. Um, those are Lantana trailing purple. And they had some, just a couple of those pink and yellow ones. And then they had some pink ones, I think. Uh, here are the same, well, maybe not. It's Gardener's Corner. These were perennials for $3.99. There's a balloon flower. And then they had foxtail, or fox glove, excuse me. They had some scabiosa. And there's one of the blooms. You can see Burgundy Glow Ajuga in the background. <laughs> and there's a Phlox, Bright Eyes Phlox, so pretty. So I can't believe these perennials were $3.99. Sure, they're small, they're starter plants, but I think that's fantastic. That sedum caught my eye. That is Angelina sedum. I thought it was lemon ball sedum. Looked a little bit similar. They have Walker's Low Cat Mint as well. I am tempted. Those are supposed to do really well here in Texas. I was really tempted to get that one. And I found Plumbago Serratostigma. I have two of these in my backyard. I paid $8.99 or maybe $9.99 for the big ones, two of them last year. So $3.99 is a good deal. Okay, so headed back away from the annuals and smaller um, starter plants. This is more like their big uh, perennials, uh, their big shrubs, vines, things like that. The thing that you see right away is this Confederate star jasmine on this trellis. It's absolutely beautiful. It's blooming. <laughs> Mine doesn't because the vine dies. Look at that clematis. This was stunning. So this is a clematis. The bee was all over that thing. Look at that. Uh, let's see. It's It was Joe Evergreen clematis. And it was $59.99. Here's some more clematis. They had a ton of different types of clematis, y'all. Uh, again, $59.99. And that was uh, a nice purple one. So this was a plant that that was really really pretty i wasn't sure i had recognized those blooms but i love those purple stems those flowers so pretty absolutely beautiful the foliage is really pretty too it turns out that was onyx and pearls beard tongue or penstemon for 34.99 and look how many of these they had. So this is the Eclipse Hydrangea, y'all. What a striking and different hydrangea this is. The foliage looks black, purple or black. And then the blooms are these beautiful red colors, red slash pink. 
And those were a little pricey, in my opinion. $59.99. Um, look like it. Maybe at the three-gallon size. Large. That was a large plant. Don't get me wrong. But absolutely beautiful. Totally different. I just wanted to catch their hostas really quick because if you know my backyard garden tours, I have four pots of very large hostas. I picked them up here at this location last fall and they were $1 and they're normally $24.99 each. So I was like, yeah, I got that for a dollar last year. Okay, moving on. This is actually Cleome. Senorita Blanca Cleome. I thought that was so cute. Look at those white blooms. And here's Black Eyed Susan Vine. I actually have some of these that I'm trying to start from seed. Well, they're growing. They're doing well. They're planted in the landscape. But if I had gotten it here, it would be $29.99 per plant. So I'm pretty much done at this point walking out. But this Bougainvillea really caught my eye. $39.99 and it's a raspberry ice Bougainvillea. So pretty. I love variegated foliage. And then, of course, I saw, oh, Morning Glory. I'm growing that from seed as well. So their Morning Glory is a lot, a lot more advanced than mine. That's okay. <laughs> because I saved $29.99. I just wanted to show you all this container that was just absolutely filled to the brim with beautiful arrangement of plants. Verbena. I mean, there's strawberry plants in there. There's, there's actually um, amaryllis in there and just all kinds of little ground cover and... I mean, stunning. Petunias, super bells, tomatoes. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from Callaway's. That was so great. It's been a really, really long time since I've been to the Callaway's of Little Elm, and it seems like it's three times bigger than Callaway's Denton, which is one that I usually go to. I usually go to that one because of the traffic that takes you into Little Elm and Frisco. If you are from around here, you know what I'm talking about. It take, It's a shorter distance for me, but it takes twice as long to get over that way, which is why I don't go. But I was in the area anyway for my daughter's birthday party. And so I, I took that chance and I'm so glad I did. I had two hours to kind of go and check it all out and uh you guys saw it it's just unbelievable i didn't even show you near near everything that they had just the things that piqued my interest but hopefully they pique yours too and let me show you what i picked up okay so first thing that i picked up that i was pretty excited about i've talked about it a lot on my backyard garden tours it's plumbago serrata stigma so it's back here I have this, I have two of these as ground cover um, right around my little lime hydrangea in a full sun location. Last year I paid $8.99 for a bigger one, don't get me wrong, it was bigger, but this is a starter plant and it's $3.99. I've never seen it as a starter plant before. It is perennial in our area, $3.99 for a perennial like that I already know will do well in my garden and I want more of. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so look at those beautiful blooms. They, I told you guys, they're true blue. They're so pretty. And this is a spreading ground cover, does really, really well in our area. It is deciduous, it will lose its leaves during the winter time, but in the fall, it turns really fun, like red colors, the, the leaves do. so. It's a really cool plant and I wanted more of it as ground cover. So can't beat that for $3.99. I got two of them. Another one that I got another perennial that was $3.99 is balloon flower. I love this plant. I love it so much. This is Astro blue, which is the same variety that I grew from seed last year from Baker's Creek heirloom seeds. <laughs> I'm just gonna admit I'm not the best seed starting person and so only one balloon flower actually made it to the to the end of the season last year and it's in my front garden right now but I kind of wanted one more to go on the other side to even things out and all the ones again that I've seen are at least ten dollars like in the quart size maybe it's three quart size but this is a four inch container and $3.99, so I definitely wanted to pick that up. I love these so much. Again, can you tell that I love blue and purple flowers? 
<laughs> with pink, by the way. Okay, uh, the next thing that I got, uh, so by the way, the Callaway's sale, um, I think it's running April 12th through the 16th. I'll run it on the screen. I'll make sure what it is. The Callaway sale is all proven winners and they had it over by the annuals. So I'm assuming since they said all proven winners, like that meant all of their proven winners, even the shrubs and the perennials and all the things that they had. This was definitely, um, 20% off and it is Lamium. It's the pink Chablis lamium and i have wanted this plant for quite some time i've actually never seen it in any of the garden centers maybe i saw it at the callaways last time too and i didn't pick it up but it wasn't 20 percent off last time so there you go but i've seen lamium uh, everywhere this year and i do again it's a great ground cover it's let's see what it says as far as shade goes this says sun to shade I would question it in North Texas. I'm going to try my part shade, uh, the new no dig garden bed back there. That's where I think I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. So yeah, really, really pretty plants. So I got two of these. And then I have two bigger containers on my back patio. And I needed, I've had a really hard time deciding what I was gonna put there. At first I was gonna put all of my seed starting annuals in there. Well, what has happened is it's already time to direct so, and I still have pansies in there <laughs> because I love the pansies so much and they're so pretty that I have kept them in there. I do need to figure something out. I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money. Um, and so this, is very similar to the pink bandana lantana that I had last year. It was in a container in my front garden. This is definitely an annual lantana. I know a lot of you are saying, just give it time, it's gonna come back, Shannon, it's gonna come back. No, it didn't come back. And I think it should have come back by now. And it says annual in zones nine, or it, it says annual on the tag and it says zones nine through 11. So it's not gonna survive. I know there are perennial types of lantana, don't get me wrong, this is not one of them. And I'm totally okay with that. For $6.99, I love this color. I could not find the perennial version of this. I think it's called like Dallas Red or there's even a pinkish, there is a pinkish perennial color. Cannot find it anywhere. So this is the one that I'm going to go with and I'm gonna put one each in my larger containers and I know it will fill it up. It's gonna look pretty naked at first and I'm okay with that. I'm not one of those like fill a container up to the brim uh, with plants. I'm one of those that if I can save money, I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get a smaller plant and I'm gonna know that because of my experience with this that it's gonna grow really, really large and it's gonna be just fine and fill out the whole entire thing. But just in case, just for some interest, I did pink, pick up some pink verbena that is a trailing verbena that I, I'm gonna put over the front of each of those containers. So I think that will be really, really pretty. This one is, they have a lot of these at Callaway, these All Stars brand, again, $3.99. Um, and it's, let's see what its zone is. This one doesn't say. Drought tolerant can handle temperature extremes. So verbena is typically zone eight and above. We'll see, I think it'll survive. It might, it might be marginal, but look at the, that pretty pink color. It reminds me of what is, there's a proven winner one that looks just like this. What is it called? The name escapes me, but I've wanted that for a really long time. And so when I saw this, I didn't, I haven't, I have not been able to find proven winners of verbena barely any honestly the only i think i saw pink cashmere one time somewhere maybe it was green acres and that's the only verbena that i've seen no okay i'm sorry peachy key verbena i picked it up <laughs> uh at green acres so I, they had peachy keen and i think they had pink cashmere but that was it so anyway this one is just stunning it's gonna go kind of like this you know, that, that pink cashmere will go towards, uh, will trail over and then that lantana will be in the, in the back. And that's really all I'm gonna do for those unless I pick something else up, which I might. <laughs> um, so yeah, two of those, two of those, because I have those two containers. And I just picked up 
a little bit more of these impatient. I I had picked up 10 colored impatients and 12 white impatients for these. I don't know if you can see those back there. I have some hanging planters for this. It's shade for up here to hang up here. And oh, I don't know why, but I've had such a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do with those. It's really windy and I forgot to put on my microphone. I hope that's not too bad, y'all. But um, anyway, I really wanted to put Proven Winners Double Up Pink Begonia in those hanging baskets and I can't find it anywhere. I did finally today find some begonias that I like that are pink with the green leaves, not the purple. However, I've already gone with Impatience, but I figured out I needed more to do what I want to do. So these uh, Impatience are gonna go in my hanging baskets. And I'm, I have a combination of this coral color. I have red and white striped, which was really fun that I picked up. And these were $1.49 each. These Impatience are on sale this, this week. So there's the red and white striped. Um, super, super pretty. And then I have white and I have a light pink and a dark purple, I think. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Super, super happy with my shopping trip. It was so nice to get out on my own and see how much bigger Callaway's is. Um, the Callaway's in Little Elm is always in Denton that we normally go to. And so um, it was a really, really fun trip. I'm glad you joined me. And until next time, this is Shannon. Have a fantastic day.